Let's play with some NeoPixels, some LEDs. Uh, these are RGB, as in red, green, blue, full color NeoPixels, which is a type of an LED. They come in various shapes and sizes, um, little one pixels, uh, rings, different size rings, um, strips of different lengths and different um, densities like 60 LEDs per, per meter, 30 LEDs per meter, different connections on the ends. This one has alligator clips. This one just has a, a connector that you would plug into. You could plug a, a male, um, alligator, not a male uh, jumper wire to it. This strip at the bottom is actually part of a large strip that I cut up for us to work with. The common thing to all these is there is a power, a ground, and a signal coming in. Notice here we got power, we got a triple here, and a triple here because um, they can all be daisy chained. You can add one onto the other. So one end is going to be an input, and the other end is going to be an, an output. So it can pass the data through, it can pass the voltage through. Now you've got to pay attention for arrows. Look on this one has some has look for the arrows. Um, that's telling you which way the data is flowing. So it's showing you which end is the in, which end is the out. Okay. So let's uh, play with some code. Here's the first thing you got to learn about NeoPixels. You have to go get the NeoPixel extension. So you click up on the uh, gear, click on extensions. Find NeoPixels. There's a whole bunch of extensions for Microbit that people have added to get different devices uh, easier interface with the, with the uh, Microbit. So you click on the NeoPixels, and I've already done that, and it comes here and it drops a whole set of commands for you to use. So more to play with. Let us start. Uh, we'll just go on basic. Uh, on start, the one thing about NeoPixels you do have to know is you have to tell it you have a strip of NeoPixels, and that's actually the first thing in NeoPixels, set strip. Strip is just a variable name it gave it. I could have call, I could change that variable to anything I want as long as I put it in here. Uh, i got to tell what pin I'm going to put it on. Put it on any pin you want. I'm going to put it on pin 1 just because. So i got to tell it how many LEDs I have. My strip is 10. If you only tell it, five and there are 10 LEDs on there. It's not gonna light up five. Um, the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have it um, on startup, just make them all red. And again, the emulator over here on the left is showing what's happening. And as I said, I like to put a little thing in there to make sure things are running. Because if, if they weren't lighting up red on startup, I wouldn't know if it was the program not running, the program being faulty, their LEDs being faulty. But now that I've got this little thing here in the array, I know that it's that, that's program. Uh, now what do I want to do? Oh, I want to make it do colors. So we're, let's go with uh, when we press a button. So on button A press, let's change some colors. So again, you come to all of these commands here. Um, you can use, where am I looking for? Set. No, I want pixel, pixel, pixel. Under pixel by pixel. Let's go here. Set pixel. So you can change every individual pixel. They start with number zero. So let's go with, uh, let's leave that, we'll leave that red. Copy and paste. The next one, pixel one, we're going to go to orange. Let's go pixel two at green. And then let's go pixel three. Red, orange. Oh, I messed up. I want this one to be green. I want this one to be yellow. We're going to doing the rainbow. That's what's got up there. Red, orange, yellow, green. Um, you could just do blues. You can use um, RGB values, red, green, blue values um, right here. They go 0 to 255. So if you want to look up hex, hex code, uh, decimal code, um, you can change RGB values and change your colors in there. So it gives you like a million, 10 million colors. I forget, 256 cubed. 
So there's basic code. And you see right over here in the emulator, if I press button A, if I press button A, it's not reading my button press. On button A press, it should change color. On, oh, no, it won't because I forgot to put something in. I forgot to tell it to show the strip. That's one of the things I always forget. Here when you, you know, set strip to a red, it's got show in it automatically. Um, you got to tell it to show. You can change it, but if you don't show it, ta-da, there they showed now. Okay. So, again, download it. Then go to downloads folder where it's coming in here. I've got the micro bit there. It's ready. Drag and drop. And it should change. Da, 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 da. Come on. Ta da. Um, so, what you get. Oh, here's the thing I haven't, I haven't told you yet. Okay, now to make the connections. All right, again, I said there's three things. There's power, there's ground, and there's data. So you gotta, you need three alligator clips to connect to there. This is why they solder things, to make it easier to connect here. We also have to go to the micro bit, and we've gotta connect ground, data, and power. There is an order you wanna play with things. You wanna plug power in last, and unplug power first. You want to have ground always there available if there's power possible. Um, I could have used pin zero or pin two. I just happened to pick pin one. I just thought of pin zero is like a, is a default for sound for this. So that's why I skipped zero and go to pin one. Um, this is what it looks like when it first turns on. It's all red. And then this is what it looks like when I press button A. I get a red, orange, yellow, green. And these are all still red because I didn't tell it to do anything with those. Anything different. And they started out red and nothing has told them to change. I could have turned them off in the code. I mean, that's, that's the thing with code. I could have said, you know, set pixel at, you know, nine to white to black. To whatever and I didn't so it's still stuck on the red so there is a uh, play with LEDs